So here at my farm, it's early season. We've got a lot of good bucks on camera, specifically an older nine point. He has taken the pole position on the hit list. Hey, deer hunting. Come on, turkey season. This joker just absolutely, he gone. He ghosted us. At the end of the day, we're, we're hunters. And that's exactly what we did. We just got in the woods and we hunted. <laughs> few days before Christmas, guess who shows up? And you gotta love it, but a plan just comes together. <sighs> oh man, yes. I don't know what it says. It's awesome. So here at my farm, it's early season and we have spent and put uh, so much time into uh, making this habitat here at my farm, Far Farms, uh, pristine. And um, but these deer do not have to leave. They have everything they need right here. So I've got, I've got 200 acres. I've, I started with 34, we're up to 200 acres. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about when, you know, you have, people that hunt around here and God bless them, I love them. Um, but Redneck's gonna do what Redneck's gonna do and that's to shoot deer. So I'm battling people around here. So these deer travel a lot during the rut and I gotta have some incentive here for these deer to stay on my property. And that's what we try to do in creating uh, the, you know, the perfect or ideal habitat uh, for these Tennessee bucks. So all the hard work we've put into this place is uh, you're finally starting to see the benefits of it. It's finally starting to pay off. Um, we've got a lot of good bucks on camera, specifically an older nine point, and he is number one. He has taken the pole position on the hit list. This is an older deer, dominant, mature, dominant buck, and uh, he needs to be killed. So one of my longtime partners in crime, um, my brother from another, Mr. Philip Culpepper, uh, he just started this new show called The Hunt Club. And uh, he is bound and determined to lay some brown on the ground. And uh, that, that's what he had in mind when he came up here. And he got real close. I mean, as close as you can get to shooting this nine pointer. No luck, they had to head back to Georgia. And it's about the time he left, this joker just absolutely he gone. He ghosted us. There, he is nowhere to be found. So fast forward three months. Here we are. It's the end of the rut. Getting towards the end of the rut. Still no sign of this deer. Nowhere to be found. I believe I have a little bit wider shoulders than you, Jacob. But I haven't shot a deer on my property yet. So I'm gonna do what any person in my position is gonna do, and that's just to keep hunting, because you ain't gonna kill them inside. <laughs> Bottom line, at the end of the day, we're, we're hunters. We hunt and that's what we do and that's exactly what we did. We just got in the woods and we hunted. Hey, this is Tyler Farr. 
Good. I just called in and it said uh, I hit a vo uh, answer machine. It said I uh, didn't win the didn't win to try again later. <laughs> We're sorry you didn't win. I know, right? I was like, man, I was really trying for those Jason Aldean tickets. So Jacob, he, he was my partner in crime this year, and he we, we hunted and hunted and hunted and hunted. We have not seen this deer, but it's something, uh, something about, I don't know, something in the air told us it could happen at any moment. I know there's a strong wind blowing, but a big buck can hardly resist. It's the newest product from Far Industries, the hot effort. This is an attractant, a call, and a device of trickery. Brand new, this sucker is awesome. I made it this morning, I whittled it out of hickory wood. Here they come. Ready to take on the winner. Oh. After hours of preparation, we're now ready to rumble. I feel like a Michelin man. So it was cold. It was warm. Uh, it was raining. It was snowing. We we didn't have uh, you know prime conditions for for hunting, but we had better uh, a better percentage of killing this deer if we got in the woods. So that's what we did. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I ain't seen this deer, and lo and behold, I mean, a few days before Christmas, guess who shows up? We are situated in the cold pepper. Big boy maze. And we haven't seen it since the beginning of the season, but two days ago, he popped back up on camera out of nowhere, so that tells us the rut is over. For the most part, it's over. sanctuary and want to get smacked in the face with a piece of lead. So, uh, we got this deer on He's, you know, a big nine point. And it's pretty cool to be tracking a deer you saw early season. He made it. He lived through the whole season. Because he wants to get shot by me. So this is the end of the season. This is overtime. Something's got to happen. This joker shows up out of nowhere. Got him on my wild game cameras, a few pictures of him. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to go get in the woods and kill this joker. And you got to love it sometimes when a plan just comes together, which doesn't a lot for me. I can't even tell how big he is because it's, 
That's literally like this is a first light. I think it's a chocolate rack, a dark rack. I ain't telling y'all nothing. I ain't telling y'all nothing. Everybody knows every hunter has a nervous tick and he just has this, he has something about his hunting style that separates him from the pack. Unfortunately, mine was my weird grunt that just came out last year. And I don't know why, but it sounded like a pre-puberty mockingbird or something. It, it, it was supposed to come out like back. And it came out like, yeah. I don't know. Don't ask me. But so much though that I stuck with it. And he went down to the buzzes down there at Ola and did it again while Tombo was in his uh, Under Armour flip flop filming me with the cell phone. That's what we're doing. Just thinning the herd, folks. Just thinning the herd. Body yeah. Am I gonna get in trouble for this one? No. no. So this normally would not be a problem uh, because you know what happens in the woods stays in the woods. Not so much on Buck Commander. I found out the hard way that whatever you do on film, these jokers are gonna use against you. I'm not an idiot. I know deer don't make that noise. I don't know why. That's what comes out. Is this um, high-pitched grunt meow? Um, is it uh, traditional? No. Does it work? Absolutely. So, what am I gonna? I'm gonna own it. Should I bring some water? This might be a long tracking adventure here. See if we can find blood. Dude, this is my biggest buck I've ever shot on this farm. God, he is bone Oh, dude, yes. Dude, it is. And that's big eight. Is that big eight? Oh, man, yes. Absolutely, he's a shooter. It's too late now, but he... Golly.
It's really awesome. Freaking awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. At the end of the day, is this the biggest deer uh, shot on camera? Absolutely not. Um, but it's an important deer, and that's you know that's what I'm getting at. It's like we are not hunting now. We're not. We're in Tennessee, and most importantly, we're at a, a farm I bought uh, by working my butt off, and just having a farm and being able to harvest the deer. The last quarter of the Super Bowl, making a good plan come together. It's just, it's freaking awesome.